And welcome back everybody to another week of the GY6 build. That's right, it's still going. Hopefully I'm gonna get it done. But today I'm gonna talk about carburetors. That's right. Do you wanna rebuild them or just get a new one? That's what I'm gonna check out and talk about today. We're gonna have a quick talk about carburetors and if it's worse to rebuild them or just buy a new one. So that's what I have right here. I have my old one right here. It has a little bit of damage. You saw one on the disassembly. This piece right here was a little bit bent, but it can easily be bent back right into shape. That's not a problem. So it's similar right here. This metal, very pliable. So that's not a problem. Any major damage? Not really. I mean, it's gone through a lot, gone through a lot of testing. I can take off the bottom right here, which will show corrosion built up around here in this area too and on the base also on the inside and i'm guessing that's definitely from running that e85 last year during that experiment so could you rebuild it yes you can you can clean these out and get a new set of parts which looks like this and it comes with everything you need to actually rebuild it back to new but this set is about 10 15 dollars sometimes depending on where you're looking for it but for five extra dollars you can just get a new carburetor so what is it worth to your time and what do you want to do you have all the parts right here to put it back together you can clean it and it'll be good as new but you can just transfer over your screw settings to this new carburetor and you don't have to mess with that fuss for just a couple more dollars and now installation of the new carburetor is super simple. It is about one of the simplest changes you can make to your GY6 engine. All you're going to need is the actual new carburetor. You're going to need the air filter that attaches to the carburetor. And you're going to need this clamp that holds the carburetor onto the intake boot. Now installation is very simple. You're going to have a large end on one side and a small end on the other side. The small end is going to be where the intake it goes into the intake boot and it even has a little notch right here is going to help line it up because there's also a notch right on the boot so i'm going to do is angle it in and with these new carburetors they're already all set up so all you have to do is drop them right in and unfortunately this new boot is not the same size as the old one so the old one's going to save the day I'm just going to be using this. I'll use the pipe clamp and I'm going to put it right back on and use this old one. <laughs> so once again, parts are not working, but I'm not going to hold up this project to order something new again. So old one goes right back on and there we go. Right onto the new studs. And as I said, it has that notch right here and I can line it up with the plastic and install this clamp. And there we go. This week is done. We got the new carburetor on and we talked about either rebuilding them or just going with new. This project, I'm just going with new. If you're wondering about rebuilding one, I have an awesome guide. Title is gonna jump up right here or a link. So you can talk about actually doing and tuning carburetors for winter and summer. And that's gonna go through the whole build of taking out the jets and all that stuff. And for wiring wise, I'm gonna finish that up this weekend and Another link right up here for my tutorial on uh, no spark situations. That's going to go through all the wiring, all these different electrical pieces that I'm just going to check on and make sure they're good. And we should be able to fire this thing up next week. 
So with that, as always, I want to thank you guys everything you do for the channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing it. And I'd just be working on this in my garage by myself. But thank you very much. I appreciate everything you do. And as I want to always say, please, I say it straight from the heart and I mean it every time. Ride safe, drive safe, please. Seatbelt save lives and keep at least two wheels on the road.